Today I fucked up by trying to fuck my best friend. This happened two days ago so still quite fresh with embarrassment and shame, this is a throwaway account. I have a good friend, let's call her T. I've always been attracted to T but not to the extent that I want to be romantically involved with her just sexually. We have been childhood friends since a young age and I was coming back to stay the night at my mother's to get away so we decided to do dinner at hers and reminisce over a bottle of wine. A few hours in and deep in conversation, she starts telling me about her sexual con quests and it turns out T is quite the deviant. I'm relatively prude so hearing about his kind of stuff comes as a shock as I didn't know that some of this stuff existed outside the realm of staged porn. Conversation went on and three bottles in I mention I have a certain powdered narcotic in my car that I got cold feet about using at a previous party. Decide it's gonna be an all nighter. Time goes on and at around 4 a.m. when we have indulged in enough class A's that even Charlie Sheen would be calling it tonight. Me and T are close, a lot of touching and feeling going on, we start dancing and things feel like they are getting more intimate. This is where I make my move, rejection. I try to make several advances but each one is shot down. We decide to call it a night with a disclaimer saying that I could stay but sex isn't going to happen. We go to bed and although she said it wasn't going to happen, things started heading in a different direction. When things finally advance I'm as flaccid as Prince Andrew at an over 18's night. Things do escalate and I start to freak out that I had completely ruined it and possibly our friendship. T calms me down and says it's for the best, gets up and chastises me as officially in the friendship zone. We talk and get to a good place again and T falls asleep but I can't sleep. I head home and people are already on their way to work. I awkwardly bump into my mother while I was still buzzed, telling her I just stayed around T's house and that I was gonna have a nap then head off. I didn't sleep until 11 p.m. the next day suffering in shame and the hangover of doom. We ended up having a good night but struggling to focus on anything with the pure amount of shame and embarrassment I feel. Too long didn't read, ruined what would possibly be the best sex of my life, jeopardized my friendship and getting officiated into the friendship zone from one of the hottest girls I know and ruining all future chances. To quote Rick James, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Edit, getting a lot of DMs and comments calling me a rapist, just to be clear I never forced myself on her or tried to pressure her into anything. We were kissing a lot and talking about having sex together. When things started to move to the next level, that's when I was rejected. To say several advances was an overstatement but no is no and that is part of my fuck up and now I bear that shame. Edit 2 it never really done cook before, a mate left it in my car when I went up north, UK, and told me to just have it so I never really knew my limitations from the get go. It was never my intention to pursue her sexually or get her drunk and coked up, it's just the way things went. Edit 3, I've talked to T since and she says it really wasn't that bad I'm just reading into things far too much and won't accept an apology as it went both ways. It could have happened but didn't, probably for the best then continued to chat like we used to. I'd keep it because I'm turning 30 in two days or what but I find having the best sex of my life wouldn't come after staying up till 4am drunk and high as hell. I just think of how exhausted I'd be lol. Sounds like a Tuesday. You'll be fine. Yep, coke dick is definitely a thing. Don't be so hard on yourself. He wasn't. He was pretty soft actually. I don't know if this qualifies as a today I fucked up. I think this is just a today I didn't get what I wanted. Today I was an asshole. Today I fucked up by being too lazy to walk to the bathroom. Obligatory this happened pre-quarantine. I'm a woman. I live in a shared two-bedroom apartment. Now, the layout of my home is a little strange. There's only one bathroom. It's next to my roommate's room, and on the other side of the house from me. Drink lots of water, about 10 to 14 glasses a day because I work out and sweat a lot. This also means that I visit the bathroom pretty frequently. Luckily, my roommate has never been annoyed by this, and she's even laughed as I walked past her door for the second time in an hour. It was all fine and dandy until I started having to work out at night due to changes in my work schedule. I started needing way more water in the evenings. This meant my bladder would wake me up at ungodly hours, and I'd have to drag myself out of bed, 
trample through the house, pee, and then go back to bed. As you can imagine, this really fucked with my sleep schedule. I had trouble going back to sleep after my toilet break, and I'd just toss and turn until my alarm rang. Why not just drink less water? I hear you ask. Well, I did try that, but it gave me headaches and an itchy throat, which was even worse than the sleeplessness. I thought I was just going to have to deal with my bladder for the foreseeable future, when I suddenly thought of an ingenious solution. I have a small bin in my room I use for makeup wipes, waste paper, and other crap. I decided to pee in this bin at night, and throw out the trash every morning. None would be the wiser. It was like my personal chamber pot. This worked bow today I fucked up lay for me. At 2 a.m., I'd piss into the bin, wipe, and roll back into bed. No walking required, and I was back in bed, asleep, in less than a minute. However, as with most good things, they have to come to an end. I'd gotten lazy about clearing the bin every day, sometimes I'd leave it for two days before throwing it out. It didn't smell too bad to me, but it looked pretty repulsive, junk and pee floating around in a little bin cauldron. One Friday night, I'd gone out with some friends to a bar. My roommate was with me, and we were all having a great time. I met a cute guy at this bar, and long story short, I invited him home with me. My roommate, being the angel that she is, ordered an Uber for herself as soon as I told her I was taking him home. He wanted to make sure I was safe at ours. The guy and I go back to my room and we're drunk and fooling around in the dark. He starts kicking off his shoes, when he accidentally knocks my bin over. The smell of day old pee and soggy paper fills the room. What the fuck? Is that piss? He shouts as he feels his socks get wet. I knew exactly what had happened, I had been co-blocked by my own pussy. I started apologizing and tried to help him clean up, but he quickly put on his shoes and shoved past me. Understandable. The roommate saw the guy leaving as her Uber was pulling up, and she knew something was wrong. She knocked on my door frantically. I obviously couldn't tell her what had happened, so I said I wasn't really feeling too good. She asked if I needed any help bless her, but I said I'd be fine. I waited for her to go to sleep before mopping up my shame. I'll never piss in a bucket again. On the off chance that the guy who came home with me sees this post, PM me and I'll buy you new socks. Too long didn't read, cultivated my own chamber pot out of laziness, potential mate knocked it over in the throes of passion, resulting in a lifetime of shame. Reading this was like watching a car crash in slow motion. I knew something terrible was going to happen, and it just got worse and worse until I could see the inevitable conclusion, and then all I could do was keep reading and see it play out. At some point, I literally put my hand over my mouth. You should write horror. I have a small bin in my room I use for makeup wipes, waste paper, and other crap. I decided to pee in this bin at night, and throw out the trash every morning. Hold up. Throw out how? Is the main trash bag getting few bladders worth of piss every morning, or the that oil at getting a bunch of paper, makeup detritus as the chamber pot is poured away? Is there a mixed split of carefully pouring the liquid out into the toilet, keeping the solids in the bin and then chucking those in the trash? I like to imagine she went all the way with her medieval style and just chucked it out of the window. I too drink an ungodly amount of water and considered pissing in my bin, luckily I never have and now never will. A lady took me back to her place once for some stuff, anyway we, I, were done and she was sleeping. She had a master bathroom in her room and a house bathroom upstairs for the other two rooms. I didn't want to wake her or be weird so I just opted to use the outer restroom. Did the deed and the fucking toilet wouldn't flush. Whatever it's done I'll tell her when she wakes up. I stayed anyway as I was still pretty loaded, but on my way back to her bed I knocked a sconce off her wall breaking it. It woke her up of course and she asked WTF I was doing. I told her and she asked WTF didn't I just use the restroom 5 feet from me as she had shut the water off to the toilet as it needed replacing. We're now married with two kids and I will still never use the bathroom again. Jokes aside, you should talk to a doctor. One of the first noticeable side effects of certain medical conditions is peeing a lot. And with the extra peeing comes being thirsty all the time. If you are consistently waking up in the middle of the night to pee, 
you need to get to a doctor. That's how my friend found out she had diabetes one day she cut down on her water to stop going to the bathroom all night and she felt sick. She went to the doctor as soon as she told him what happened her checked her blood sugar. And well she had diabetes which caused her to be thirsty all the time and then she of course had to pee a lot. Now that it's under control she doesn't have to drink as much and she doesn't pee as much. Today I fucked up by asserting my dominance. So technically, this was years ago, yay foo, but anywho, here goes. To establish the scene, this was when I was in middle school. Our school is housed in a very pretty traditional building. It was established in the 1920s as a place of study for royal princes and such, and unfortunately for them, due to external extenuating circumstances not entirely in their control, they had to liberalize towards the latter half of the last century and start letting plebes like me in. But that's not the point. The building of the school, having been designed in the 1920s, was gorgeous, sprawling, and had absolute fucking dungeons for the boys' bathrooms. Ike, they were dark AF even during peak summers, and if it was even a little cloudy, we had to acclimatize the rods and cones in our eyes to the dark before we could proceed to a urinal to take a leak in peace. Now, of course, this being the 1990s, the bathrooms did have tube lights, but let's just say they were non-functional at the best of times. Scene established, onto the plot. 8th grade, math class in progress. Me being me, a nerdy kid not wanting to miss a single second of math class so I don't fall behind and mess up my future chances of proving the string theory, spoiler alert that totally did not happen. The only strings I use right now are the ones in C++ and Python. Anyway, me intently following the math teacher, trying my best to ignore the growing discomfort in my bladder. It was the season of monsoon, and your humble author had won too many drinks of water than was required. Ergo, the need to pee was getting stronger by the minute. It was a battle of wills, I tell you. Between the bladder and the brain, and one, which the brain was barely winning. Time was running out for me, and I knew, just fucking knew I couldn't hold it in any longer and suddenly, the bell rang. The math class was over. I was no longer bound by the unholy orders of the math teacher and I broke free of my bonds. In short, I legged it. Our P teacher, had he been watching, he would probably have shed a tear or two, and sang praises to his Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and announced to the world he had found his next track star, in a short and pudgy, nerdy kid. Raced to the boy's room, crashed through the door, only to be engulfed by darkness most dark. I couldn't see a thing, the damn tube light was on the fritz again. Conversely, I couldn't even keep holding it in to let my eyes adjust to the darkness. I had already undone my fly on my race to the boy's room. All I had to do was find a free urinal. Ha. Huh. Easy enough. There was one right beside me. I raced to it, took my little snake out of his cage, and let loose a torrent of that ghastly warm liquid. Other relief that flooded my body, made my legs quiver. Never have I ever experienced so many emotions in such a short space of time. The relief, the ecstasy, the sense of freedom. And suddenly, all those thoughts were banished to the depths of my brain, as the sound waves of a blood-curdling scream reached my brain via the ears. What the fuck? They seemed to scream. Apparently, the urinal was occupied by some poor, unfortunate kid. The only thing going for me was that I hadn't spoken a word, and the kid in front of me was frozen, trying to figure out whether confronting the kid peeing on him with his dick out was a good idea or not. I was not raised to be an idiot. For the second time in a short space of two to three minutes, I made like Carl Lewis and legged it. I did not even know when I managed to put my dick away and pull my fly up, but when all was said and done, and I was safely ensconced on my seat, my fly was up. Phew. Disaster averted. Or so I thought. The next day, our principal has the amazing idea to try and castigate the kid who had peed on another kid in the boy's room, and demand that he honorably turn himself in. Olon snort, yeah like that was gonna happen. However, what did happen was, this triggered a whole bout of revenge peeing on random dudes in that particular washroom. And the tube light in that washroom getting fixed, and staying fixed for a good time to come. Too long didn't read, was holding back pee in math class, rushed to the boy's room at the end, and peed on some poor sod accidentally. Principal double fucked up by giving teenage boys ideas about creative ways of avenging slights. It, whoa. My first Reddit gold ever. Thank you, kind stranger.
You possibly saved that kid from having a golden shower fetish as an adult. Or maybe you set off more than one chain reaction, and he is getting peed on as we speak. If nobody peed on you then honestly you are one lucky fucker. I am not in danger of getting peed on, Skylar. I am the danger. A guy opens his doors and gets peed on and you think that of me? No, I am the one who pees. If something that happened years ago is yay foo, something that happened weeks ago is waifu. You are lucky that you heard what the fuck instead of yes daddy, do it. Oh backslash underscore oh. Now that I think about it. That reminds me of one of my weirdest school memories. It was after the swim part of pee, so we were in the locker room taking showers and getting changed, and I walked into the big communal shower area to find two guys peeing on each other. I was noticeably shocked and confused, and one of them turned at me and went what, are you looking at? What are you gay? Note to self, make sure to avoid communal showers.